Christina Carlson and this is my colleague Javed uh, Nauman. Uh, we are both research scientists at um, KJ Jepsen Center for Exercise in Medicine at the Department of Circulation and Medical Imaging at the Nor Norwegian University of Science and Te Technology in Trondheim, Norway. Um, and we will tell you about a uh, paper that we have uh, written uh, which is called uh, the combined association of skeletal muscle strength and physical activity on mortality in older women and this is data from the HUNT 2 study. What we found is that uh, two clinically feasible tests of muscle strength, uh, hand grip strength and chair eyes test performance, they are independently associated with all cause and cardiovascular disease mortality. And uh, they were independent whether the women that we studied, they followed the current recommendations of physical activity. Uh, what we found was that uh, uh, these two tests, hand grip and uh, chair rise test performance, they were associated with mortality in a dose-dependent fashion. And um, we also found that Physically active women with low grip strength, they had 39% and 57% increased risk of all-cause and cardiovascular disease mortality. While physically active women with low chair test performance, they had 32% increased risk of all-cause and 41% increased risk of cardiovascular disease mortality. Uh, so basically the take-home message from, uh, from this study is that uh, hand grip strength and chair eyes test performance uh, predict the risk of all cause and cardiovascular disease independently of self-reported uh, physical activity. So this means that also physically active women uh, with a low muscle strength has a high risk of uh, or a higher risk of, of uh, all cause and cardiovascular mortality compared to physically active and strong women. So um, so this this means that uh, that even physically active women uh, should have their muscle strength uh, checked to to sort of improve the the, the health prognosis um, in for the future. So uh, skeletal muscle strength test, hand grip strength and chair eyes test performance, they require little equipment, uh, short amount of time and very little instructions. So these tests, we believe these tests should be used uh, frequently when looking into the current or the future health prognosis in the elderly woman. So clinicians, um, when determining the skeletal muscle strength in the elderly uh, population, they should consider uh, to use these tests frequently and also look into uh, the nutritional status and whether these, uh, this population has cachexia. Knowledge of your skeletal muscle strength uh, could increase the precision of, of your future health prognosis, uh, even if you are a physically active uh, woman. And um, our study may indicate that there is a strong need for a stronger focus to adhering to the strength training um, advice, also particularly in elderly women. Uh, when you look at all, on overall physical activity, um, there is a lot of focus on uh, on the endurance exercise, and maybe it should maybe there is a need for a increased focus on strength training, particularly in elderly women. So when we did the analysis, we had self-reported status of physical activity and uh, the measurement of hand grip and chair eyes performance. What we believe that the next would be uh, to get more information about systematic strength training and uh, investigate whether these simple tests, they are also independent uh, um, predictor for future mortality or future health uh, uh, from systematic strength training. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.